It took just 59 seconds for England to open the scoring. Siobhan Chamberlain's long ball forwards fell to Frank Kirby, who, with a quick turn of pace, surged forward and delivered a perfect ball into the box for Jodie Taylor to slot in from close range. Alex Scott started off another attacking move on 10 minutes. Her long ball was controlled by Taylor, who held it up well, and found Jordan Nobbs. She whipped in a dangerous cross, Kirby getting on the end of it. A nice touch, which gave her space to bury a shot and make it 2-0. The striker is on fire right now, having scored nine goals in just two games for Reading in WSL 2. England's chances kept coming. Donga Lee chose to play the ball back to the keeper who fluffed her clearance. Jade Moore was presented with a brilliant opportunity to kill off the game and make it 3-0, but her effort hit the post. China pulled a goal back on 17 minutes. Yanmar's header was cleared off the line by Farrah Williams, but Shan Shan Wang was there to head in the follow-up. A well-worked free kick presented England with another chance. Williams sent the ball to the back post. Jill Scott arrived, but her effort didn't have enough power, and Yu Zhang collected the ball. At the other end, Donga Lee tried to curl her free kick past Chamberlain, but the Arsenal goalkeeper palmed the ball away to deny China an equaliser. In the second half, England were quick to press. Taylor and Jade Moore harried the China defence, which created a chance for Kirby, but her effort was straight at the keeper. In China's best attacking move, Shuang Wang was found in plenty of space on the wing. She drove into the box and hit a left-footed strike that had Chamberlain produce her final save of the game. England dominated in the closing stages. Nobbs floated a lovely ball into the box. Substitute Tony Duggan tried a glancing header, but it was straight at the keeper. Duggan was involved again moments later. Williams was clearly fouled 25 yards out, but before the referee had chance to blow her whistle, the Manchester City striker latched onto the loose ball and hit a fierce strike from 25 yards, which hit the bar. Full time, it finished England 2, China 1. Mark Sampson's side with a final home victory before heading to this summer's World Cup in Canada.